Hello guys, welcome back with me. Chao Chao 2025 in Assassin's Creed 2. Remember that. Giovanni Auditore, 1416, banker, advisor, noble. Giovanni Auditore was one of the pivotal figures in 15th century Florentine banking, in charge of overseeing the Medici Bank branch across at Italy. He kept the Medici machine running while Lorenzo was busy with the government. Extending his reach out into the international operation, it was Giovanni who first noticed the problem with the Lion Bank, causing him to alert Francesco Sassetti which saved the branch. Such great talent was rewarded by Il Magnifico Giovanni IV, a close friendship with Lorenzo de' Medici, becoming one of his closest friends. Closest advisor, sorry. Successful negotiation to secure the pop support of the Medici Bank in 1471 were carried out by Giovanni. Relief and grateful reason Lorenzo paid for Giovanni Palazzo as a gift. Good morning, Father. Come with me. Okay. Something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, Father. Return to me when it's done. Deliver letter to Lorenzo di Medici. Except. Could read the letter, actually. Al magnifico Lorenzo di Medici, mio protettore e amico. I have done as requested and completed my investigation into the Milano incident. I can confirm for you that it extends far beyond dissatisfaction with Duca Galeazzo Sforza's rule. It is my belief that other parties desirous of far greater gains manipulated events in such a way as to achieve their goals without being revealed themselves. Lampugnani, Olgiati, and Visconti are guilty of the crime, to be shown. And they have met fitting ends for their betrayal. But several other noble families are implicated as well. Our own Francesco di Pazzi among them. Their cause and motive is not yet clear to me, but initial findings indicate a plan, the scope of which is sure to disturb you. Best we continue this conversation in person, as I am hesitant to put my suspicion to paper. Reply with a place and time, and I will meet you there. I have also ordered Francesco be held by the Gonfaloniere until we can clear up this matter. Yours in confidence, Giovanni. Yeah, so that's our father. He actually found a corruption in banking and... Currently, he are investigating a bunch of people, nobles, people in higher ups, which actually maybe the main culprit behind all of this, including Francesco de what, the Fiori's father, you know, or enemy fathers. I may be a bit disorganized, but I do know my sweet. Oh, it's, a, it's here. That could be our man. I was a Better have a look. <laughs> Stop annoying me. Ah, bruto. Ah, oh, this guy. Ah, Ezio. Ben trovato. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid, and not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. Return to Giovanni, yeah. So, I think... 
What Kim Funny tried to contact is the boss, you know, the bank boss. And currently he's out of town, so it's pretty bad since. Use the road. Why need to take the high road when it's easier using the usual road? Okay, here we go. Where's that? Keep up the good work, Biscero. <laughs> You worry too much, Giovanni. Francesco Di Pazzi is in prison. The threat is ended. Yeah, that's someone inside talking with our father. Ah, hello, son. You remember my friend Uber? Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Is Alberti or Alberto? <laughs> Okay, before we do the mission with the family, there are new mission, career assignment. Let's do that first. Get this to its destination fast. Really fast. I'll pay you well. Deliver this to later to guard it recipient. My beloved, how can I live without you? I cannot work. I simply idle away, imagining your face. The fact that your husband has locked you away behind cold walls sickened me. You are a budding older woman. You should have the privilege to feel my sweet kisses like a gentle wind caressing your soft paddle. Yet finally it's Friday when he goes off to sea. Oh, happy day and still happier night. Come, and when the sky rains with sparkling stars, Come find me and jump into my arm. At midnight, I will be waiting at our special spot. Yours forever, Raphael. Okay, there's layer we need to give. Uh, there's two of them. I think we could send it here first. It's actually way faster if I take the road. It's not a later. My dears, how can I live without you? I cannot work, I simply idle away. Dreaming of your face, the fact that your father has locked you away behind cold walls sickened me. You are a budding young woman, you have the privilege to feel my sweet kisses like a gentle wind caressing yourself at all. And finally, yeah, it's the same. One is the husband, the other is her father. Is the right word. Yeah. Is the ladder for you? Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, that's it. I'm so sorry, Messere. I don't know what can you Damn it. What are you doing out there? Okay. Whoa, I shouldn't drop like that. Unhealthy, man. Now the other we could use. Oh, a straight line. 
Strength line, yeah. Got it. Just run away and never say goodbye. I think we could take this road, right? Yeah, it's this road. Casanova, nice. Okay, now mission with family. Okay. Hey, Ezio. Petrucio Auditori, fourteen sixty-three, Staten novel. The youngest of the auditory children, Petrucio, was described as having a weak constitution by Giovanni Auditore and later to Lorenzo de' Medici soon after the boy birth. Apparently, he didn't improve with time. Petrucio was pulled from school due to illness when he was 12 and, according to record from the family doctor, he was confined to bed. No other death exists after that, so it's probable that he eventually succumbed to his illness. What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. Uptail eager feeder for Petruccio before he gets in trouble for sneaking out of bed. Except... Oh, there's a lot of it. Come on, come on, come on, move. Respect for your parents if you're done. What the hell? Please don't. I'm sorry. I'll go. How could I take this? <laughs> oh, they're actually. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Below. Ah, uh, whatever. Damn it. Is the ladder for A lot of time actually. Oh, I need to go back to him. damage yourself like crazy. No one cares. Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will. In time. In time. Do you have a time, Petitio? It seems you are always sick. Okay, next mission. The mom. Claudio Auditore, the third child of Giovanni Oil, its sister. 
and the first girl in the family, Claudia seemed to have been a bit of spoiled bread. It looks like her parent has to raise her dowry by 10,000 florin after she scared away all her potential sweeter. A report from her school indicated she wants to tag another girl for looking at her boyfriend and knock her out cold. On the plus side, she's Asia's sister, so you should be safe. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. It's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. Harpies. I him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what <laughs> he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him. This is a psycho man. Bit of cheat. Find punish Duccio. Hey, Hamari is missing. Okay, we don't have time here, so we're gonna take our time. Okay, there's a lot of crowd here. Hey! Watch, watch. Watch, watch, watch. Where is he anyway? What is this? Leonardo da Vinci opened his own studio after completing his apprentice to Ferrocci, one of the most successful Florentine artists of the day. Within 1476 and 1481, Leonardo probably continued to collaborate with Ferrocci, although no one is quite sure why he wants working on. In 1481, he was given his first commission by the monk of San Donato Ascopito to paint the adoration of the Meiji. He entrusts in true Da Vinci style, he began a painting, but never finished it. Lazy? Is Da Vinci being lazy? Hey, watch out, man! Hey, what was that all about? Do you require a medical assistance? Giotti Company Began by Giotti de Bondone, the famous architect and painter in 1334, this famous Gothic bell tower was complete by when Giotti died. Andrea Pisano took over and then, in 1348, was fell by the Black Death. In 1359, the tower was complete by Francesco Talenti, who defeated from Giotto's plan in his design of the upper three floor. He learned each floor to match a previous according to perspective. So when it's seen from below, all three floors seem to be exactly the same size. The tower clad with white marble from Carrara, red marble from Siena, and green marble from Prato. It takes exactly 414 steps to reach the top, perhaps predicting Charles Mason's discovery of the Whirlpool Galaxy exactly 414 years later. Or perhaps not. Yeah, man. It's probably not. But yeah, people like to connect things. Think that actually have no connection. Okay, this is. Guy, I think. Duccio! It's beautiful! Nothing but the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah! Oh. Dante! Oh. Come, let us walk a bit. What? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio! Mm. Man, it's hey, scary. Hey, porco. Ezio, my friend. You insult my sister, parading around with this puttana. <laughs> puttana. What are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her, or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtu. You broke her heart. Ha! <laughs> and now I'm going to break your face. What? Are you sure? You auditore is all talk me. But when it comes time for action, ha! You regret ever opening your mouth. I could have taught your sister a great many things. She's lucky to have had someone like me. Bastardo! <laughs> Stay away from my sister! Okay, we got beat up even. So before continuing the story, we're gonna do some beat up event. 
I think I'm gonna be the cheat finish. I'm gonna finish the story, the video here. <laughs> Reveal useful information on your map by facing every point. Okay. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you again on the next episode. Have a nice day.